So yesterday morning, Insta360 blasted social media with a new teaser video about a new 8K camera that they come have coming out next Tuesday. Now, is it the Insta360 X4? Is it the One RS2? What's it gonna be? We don't know yet, but we have some speculation and we also have some things that a lot of people are asking about that I'm gonna chime in and see what I think and maybe you'll agree with me. Let's go on and get into it. Let's start off with what we do know. They are advertising an 8K video compared to the 5.7K in the X3. There is gonna be a live stream to see the actual unveiling on April 16th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So for me, that's gonna be 7.30 in the morning. If you hear some thumping in the background, that is my kids, they're very excited, they're playing with the dog, they're very excited to hear about the new 360 camera. Anyways, the advertisement is focusing on more pixels, more frames, and the shadows in the shot, as well as the fake screen girl at the beginning, the screen she's swiping on seems to look a lot like the X3. So this may be the X4 that we have all been waiting for. So with that said, what is the online community looking for in this camera? I've seen the Insta360 Facebook page. They're saying we will when they were asked to get mobile app support working for 8K instead of forcing us to go out and buy computers and laptops capable of editing 4K footage, 8K footage, sorry. So in a nutshell, not too many phones out there today can actually handle 8K. So either Insta360 expects the phone market to catch up relatively soon, or they are really planning on this camera to be relevant for a long time. It's been a couple years since the X3 was released, so it makes sense that this could be the long awaited X4, but only time will tell. Some people complained about the screen scratching on the Go 3 relatively easily and they were worried about that. So will this new camera have stronger glass? I've never had issues with my display screen on the X3. However, I did recently chip the glass on my X3 lens. It's an obvious vulnerability having these huge bubbly lenses sticking out both sides. So will this get addressed? Probably not because the promo picture uses the recent Eclipse Buzz to display a similar dome shape out of the side of the shadowy camera that they put in the picture. So they do advertise more frames. How many are they talking? And are they all at 8K? I can imagine 8K 60, but maybe that won't, maybe they could go even higher. The X3 is not known for its slow-mo capabilities. So it kind of begs the question, like if they're gonna add those more frames per second at the higher resolution, how much is it gonna cost? The X3 base model is now $400 on Amazon, down some from its original release price. Now, if you get a combo pack, which is the best deal, you would easily pay $500 or more. So what do you think about a combo pack for this new camera? What do you think it's gonna run? 600 more? The recent Pocket 3 by DJI, the creator combo, retails for $700 right now. Now, it's hard to compare a gimbal camera to a 360 camera, but they were in similar price points, so who knows? Now, those are just talking points. What are my final thoughts before we finally get to see this thing next week? Personally, I think this is gonna be the X4. Something, it could be the One RS2, maybe. A one inch sensor would be nice in an X4, but Going with the fact that history has them putting out an X model from the 360 realm every two years, it seems like the X4 is pretty likely. I think the price is going to easily be in the $600 range or higher. I say that because in my opinion, combos are the way to go if you're serious about using the cameras. Base bottle with no bells or whistles, I'm saying 550, but you'll be doing a disservice but to yourself by not going with the combo pack when you do the math and what all the extra costs are whenever you buy the extra pieces separately. Now, am I gonna get one? It's hard to tell. In any event, I have to send in my X3 for repairs since I recently chipped one of the lenses in Florida. So at the earliest, I won't be upgrading to this new iteration until I send off the X3, get it back, and then I can sell it to come up with the money for the new one. Now, while you're here, please subscribe now as I'll be documenting my experience with working with Insta360 about the repairs and how the customer service takes care of me, that whole process. But 
With that, that's all for me, guys. If you like this video, give it a like. I'll see you next week when we all finally get a look at this new exciting 8K camera by Insta360. Love you guys. Bye.